Hello, everyone. My name is Luis and I'm a researcher at MedAI. I'm presenting our work on the Thesius Library, done in collaboration with several colleagues at MedAI and Reality Labs Research. Thesius is a PyTorch library that allows users to build custom nonlinear optimization layers, which can then be inserted into any neural architectures for end to end deep learning. Importantly, Thesius is able to do this through an application agnostic interface that supports a variety of robotics and vision applications, and also with an efficiency based design that results in state of the art performance on compute and memory. But why Thesius? Well, Nonlinear optimization is at the heart of many problems in robotic ambitions, ranging from SLAM and estimation to planning and control. Moreover, combining the complementary strengths of traditional approaches and deep learning is a common thread in a large body of recent work. A key insight of such work is that optimization layers can work as inductive priors in neural models as a way to combine these approaches. And in particular, differentiable nonlinear least squares provides a general scheme to encode such inductive priors where the objective function can be partially parameterized by neural models and partially with engineering domain-specific differentiable models. The ability to compute gradients end-to-end -end is retained by differentiating through the optimizer, which allows neural models to train on the final task loss while also taking advantage of priors captured by the optimizer. The flexibility of such a scheme has led to promising state-of-the-art results in a wide range of applications. But existing implementations are application-specific, common underlying tools get re-implemented, and features that impact efficiency are not always available. This has led to a fragmented literature where it is difficult to start to work on new ideas or to build on the progress of prior work. To address these issues, Thesis provides an efficient application agnostic interface that consolidates research efforts and catalyzes future progress in the domain of structure and to end learning for robotics and vision. Our interface provides approximate second order optimizers like Gus Newton and Levenberg Markert, differentiable link groups for representing 2D, 3D positions and rotations, and access to many common costs in robotics and vision, and also including support for custom in place costs. With these features, we can easily build custom optimization layers and plug them into any neural architecture. In our open source code, we include examples like postgraph optimization, tactile state estimation, homography estimation, motion planning, and bundle adjustment. We also make several advancements on efficiency. We implement differentiable sparse linear solvers with custom backends that support batching and GPU acceleration. This is important because every iteration of nonlinear least squares solves a linear system that's typically sparse. However, PyTorch native linear solvers rely on dense representation, and thus we need other ways to exploit these problems inherent in sparsity. On the PGO problem, we benchmark our sparse solvers, QDLU, Cholmont, and Baspacho against Torch native Cholesky dense solver. We evaluate compute times for forward and backward pass of the Thesius layer on increasing number of pulses on the, left and on the left and increasing batch size on the right. We find that on a standard GPU, Thesius with a sparse solver is much faster than a dense solver. And we also find that sparse solvers require significantly less memory, allowing them to scale to much larger problems. We also add cost function vectorization and other efficiency operations, which automatically happen under the hood. On the same PGO problem setup, we benchmark the speed of vectorization on forward and backward times, and we find that vectorization results in up to an order of magnitude speed up. We also evaluate Thesius as a standalone optimizer and benchmark its forward pass with state-of-the-art series solver. When solving a batch of large problems, we find that the forward pass of Thesius is up to 20 times faster than series, since we're able to leverage parallelization on a GPU. While series has limited GPU support and does not support batching and end-to-end -end deep learning, it's still a highly performant C++ library that is faster for smaller problems. Finally, we discuss support for various backward models for end-to-end -end differentiation. We introduce implicit differentiation and direct loss minimization in addition to truncated backprop. These serve as alternatives to standard unrolling, a method that has challenges with compute memory and vanishing gradients. We analyze the backward modes in a tactile state estimation problem. We compare forward and backward times, backward memory and validation loss, each with increasing number of optimizer iterations. We find that with increasing number of iterations, the computer memory increases linearly for unrolling, but stays constant for implicit differentiation. Implicit also provides better gradients, even with fewer optimization and iteration. In summary, we illustrate several applications using the same application agnostic interface and demonstrate significant improvements in performance with our efficiency-based design. To get started, you can pip install Thesius AI. And for more details, you can visit our webpage from this link or QR code.